So you're thinking about moving to Grass Valley, California, but you want to know more about it before you decide. Well, this video is just for you. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Nevada County, California and the surrounding areas like Grass Valley, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications so you can stay current on the market here. My name is Cheyenne and whether you're moving in three weeks or three months, my partner and I would love to help you. All of our info to call, text, email or even schedule a Zoom is down below. I was going to do a pros and cons list, but I honestly couldn't think of very many cons. So let's just get right into it. As far as buying a home in Grass Valley, they're all price ranges. I would say the average low is in the mid fours or the $400,000 range. There are some below $400,000, but they're probably going to be fixers or very, very small or an old manufactured type home. Um, and then there's all price ranges all the way up to several million dollar luxury homes. So everything in between, but lots of homes starting in the fours and working their way up. And I would say Grass Valley is slightly less expensive than Nevada City. So that's one benefit um, if you're choosing between Nevada City and Grass Valley because they're right next door to each other. But Grass Valley is slightly less expensive than Nevada City. Grass Valley has an adorable little downtown area, which I'll get into more in a minute, but you could buy a home really close to town so that you could walk out your door and go to a coffee shop or a really nice restaurant or boutique shopping. Um, so there's lots of great homes right around town. And then there's also homes a little farther from town, uh, many that have beautiful acreage. And even if you were farther from town, by farther, I mean maybe 20 minutes. So Grass Valley is really small. So even if you got a home um, a little farther from town with acreage, you're still not going to be very far from downtown Grass Valley. So the downtown Grass Valley area is so amazing. Um, there's one little street where they block it off so no cars can drive through. So it's a really nice place to just walk around, um, very family friendly. There's lots of great coffee shops, bakeries, um, lots of gluten-free options, vegetarian, organic, lots of great restaurants. A lot of the restaurants use local produce. Um, so if you're a foodie, Grass Valley and Nevada City are great um, towns to enjoy really good food. There's really great ice cream. I mean, pretty much anything you want as far as food, um, you're going to find a good selection of high quality good food downtown Grass Valley. Downtown Grass Valley also has really great shopping, so boutique style shopping, lots of local artists, um, lots of just great gift ideas to get. Um, jewelry, clothes, more high quality clothes, so not like your regular box stores, but just small, small businesses with local artists and really great, great, unique products. Downtown Grass Valley also just has a really sweet feel to it. I mean, it's just an adorable little town. This is the gold country and Grass Valley is a, a historic gold mining town. There are lots of old buildings. And as I said, there's a street that's closed off to cars so you can walk around. It's just a really nice place to gather, go walk around with your friends and enjoy yourself. Nevada County doesn't have any malls. So um, the as far as shopping in Grass Valley, aside from the downtown areas, as far as like regular box stores. Um, we have like little, I guess what you would call maybe a strip mall or a little shopping complex. Um, there is a Target being built, so that's kind of like a, a big deal for us. Um, there's a little JC Penney's, there's lots of hardware stores, there's um, pretty much all this, you know, Safeway, all the standard type stores, sporting goods stores. There's really everything you need here. We just don't have like big malls. What makes it special though is that we do have all the kind of traditional stores um, that you're gonna need or want but we also have the boutique stores and lots of health food stores and so it's kind of a good combination of everything we are really centrally located so Auburn is just down the road not very far maybe 30 to 45 minutes at the most and then there's more uh, you know Home Depot and bigger stores over there for shopping Sacramento is also just past Auburn, so not very far for even bigger shopping there. And also if you like to ski, Tahoe is not very far. So that's a really, we're just very centrally located here. 
Grass Valley also has quite a few fairs and festivals throughout the year. We have summer festivals, uh, Cornish Christmas, which, which goes on for several weeks and is a big fun event with lots of local artists. Also the county fair is in Grass Valley and our county fairgrounds are beautiful. Lots of trees and shade and it's just really lovely. We also have lots of farmers markets, so that's really great if you like good fresh produce. And as I said, lots of the restaurants um, use the local produce. So lots of the restaurants in town use organic local produce, um, local eggs, um, even sometimes local meat. So as far as weather, we have great weather here in Grass Valley. Um, as far as winter, it snows maybe one or two weeks out of the year. Uh, it's not really a huge deal. Every, every once in a while, there'll be a snowstorm that feels big to us. Um, and everyone just kind of hunkers down and, and uh, stays inside for a few days, but it's really not that big of a deal. If you love to ski, as I said, Tahoe is not very far. Um, and then the rest of the winter, you know, it'll it'll rain for a few days and then it'll be no rain for a week and it just kind of goes off and on and the weather's maybe in the low 50s. It can, we can get some cold spells where it gets colder than that, but um, in general, fairly mild winters. Spring and fall are amazing here. Spring is beautiful, lots of flowers. Um, fall is beautiful, lots of autumn red leaves and the, weather's, the weather is just beautiful in spring and fall. Summers can be hot, I would say 80s to 90s to the hundreds off and on all summer. So there might be like a heat wave for a couple weeks where it's 100 or maybe even a little bit higher. And um, that can be a little bit, bit intense, but the rest of the summer is 80s and 90s. Um, so yeah, we have the river and we love the river and we have lakes and um, yeah, pretty wonderful weather here in Grass Valley. Also, it's just really beautiful here. Um, as I said, we have the Yuba River, which is amazing, but also there's just lots of trees and mountains and it's just a really beautiful uh, landscape around here and it's great for nature lovers. If you like to hike, there's lots of hiking trails. There's trails where you can ride your horse. Um, so lots of the hiking trails have lots of trees and they're very shaded. So in the summer when it's super hot, you can go for a hike and be in the shade. So yeah, it's very beautiful here. The population in Grass Valley is just under 14,000. So it's, you know, on the smaller side and there really is a feel of community here. When there is a, a fair or a festival, it's almost like everyone comes and you see people you know. Um, even if you just go to a coffee shop, you're probably gonna see someone that you know and it's just, it's a very community oriented town. There are these events that happen every season and everyone knows about them and everyone goes and it's just, it just has a really good community feel to it. Grass Valley is also right next door to Nevada City, which is also another sweet town. Lots of shopping and amazing dining in Nevada City. So um, there's also a lot of music and theater in Nevada City, so you're right next door. So you can buy a home in Grass Valley for a little bit less than Nevada City, but literally just be like a blink away to downtown Nevada City. I could only think of a few cons about living in Grass Valley. One is that Things close down pretty early, so restaurants close around 9. Um, Safeway is open till 1, but there's just not a lot of nightlife in this county in general. Nevada City has a little bit more uh, music and a little bit more night nightlife over there, but it's not like being in a city. This is definitely a more rural area. We're not a sleepy town, but I guess we do like to go to bed early. <laughs> The other con that I thought of is that we do have wildlife here. I mean, wildlife isn't really a con, but there are some animals like bears, mountain lions, rattlesnakes that you do want to be aware of. It's highly unlikely you're gonna run into any of them, especially if you live in town, but if you live out on acreage and let's say you have a chicken coop, you need to make sure that chicken coop is really secure on all sides. And it's just something to be aware of. I'm not freaked out about it, but just something to know. I couldn't really think of any other cons and those cons aren't actually cons for me. So I love this county, but if there's anything you think I forgot or left out or you have a question about, definitely leave it in the comments below or feel free to reach out. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.